Well, hello, I'm Cami Ahrens and I'm the curator at the Foxfire Museum. So the Foxfire Museum was actually founded by a project started by local high school students here in Raven County, Georgia in 1966. These students were in their English classroom. They were reading Shakespeare and were not really interested <laughs> in what they were doing and were being very rowdy in the classroom. So with their teacher, they decided to pursue a project that would interest them all um, a little bit more than the classic text that they were reading. So they opted to create a magazine which involved them going out into their community and collecting stories as well as soliciting poetry from other people throughout the region. Once they created the magazine though, they started seeing that their readers were really responding to these stories that they were collecting from their neighborhood elders, their relatives, people who were born in the 1880s and 1890s and were still living in a way in the mountains that was reminiscent of the previous century. These people were living in their cabins without running water, without electricity, and they were um, still making most items by hand from wood and other resources available to them. And the Foxfire students during the 60s and 70s were really able to preserve these elements of culture that were starting to disappear as this generation was dying out. So throughout their work, they collected these stories, these recipes, these articles on how to make things and put them into the Foxfire magazine, which then ultimately became the Foxfire book. So in 1972, um, the Foxfire students received a book deal to create the very first Foxfire book. We now have 12 in the numbered anthology. And from those royalties, the students were able to purchase the property where I'm at today. We have almost 100 acres of mountainside property with over 20 historic log structures that were rescued and relocated to the property by those high school students. So the museum is comprised of these buildings and inside each building is artifacts that are representative of life of, um, in the Appalachian Mountains, uh, items that are hallmarks of Southern Appalachian culture. And you can come and tour the museum and see some of those artifacts today. So the Foxfire Museum is very much a cultural center, not just a museum where you can look at things in the past. We view history as kind of a continuum and bringing a lot of these historic trades, practices, stories into the present. So during your tour of the museum, you can visit with a weaver, a spinner. We even have a blacksmith who's here on a regular basis working in the forge, showing you how metal was changed and made into different items. Kids especially love the hands-on opportunities, getting to see some of these crafts in action. So getting to learn about spinning and weaving, and especially the blacksmith, because what kid doesn't like to see, <laughs> see some nice fire at work? We also offer lots of classes. Typically these are held at the museum in person, but during COVID we've suspended some of this work and have moved some of that to a virtual space. So you can take virtual fiber classes. And we also offer other opportunities through our YouTube channel where you can um, watch a wood stove cooking class, watch a log being hewn and other types of trades that are in the Foxfire books kind of brought to life in a virtual space.